So I tweeted this picture describing the new normal between front-end engineering and back-end engineering within the Vercel ecosystem. And in this video, I wanted to go into detail explaining how Vercel with Next 13.4 and React server components are completely changing the way we think about our applications, particularly with how we build them. But before we go into this, guys, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't. It helps the channel tremendously. But without further ado, let's get into this. How I think a bunch of different systems should create their application. So let's say we have uh, no background. We'll just create this, the client side, the, the client code, typically written in React. So here, put this over here. So this is gonna be client, the client code. And within the client code, this is typically written in something like React, you know, TypeScript. That's basically it. We don't really need, you don't really need anything more to essentially write your client code. The confusion starts as to what happens here, right? So I'm going to put this as the backend, backend. And this is, so typically you have them very separate. Typically you'd have your backend and your frontend completely decoupled. They were, they're not tightly coupled at all. So in your backend, you would have something, you know, let's make this purple. And then within it, you would have, I don't know like rest api rest api or whatever written in it could be go it could be uh python you know uh, php java i don't know any any non javascript type script language this is where your back end would live right and this this architecture right this separation was and still is extremely popular and i'm gonna put a little arrow here uh and i put a little arrow here and then we need we need a line we need a straight line that is just uh, like this and then boom. Okay. In, in, in the world prior to like three months ago, this line was very, very distinguished. You would have your client side on one end, you'd have your back end on the other end and they'd communicate whichever way. And we're not including the database yet. Right. But you know, just to keep things very specific and then you would have something like this, right? And then here, you know, you put like, I'm just doing for simplicity sake, simplicity sake, you'd put like your database, database. And then you'd have like, so this could be like Postgres, uh, Mongo, I don't know, uh, planet scale, whatever. Right. That, that is like the thing that was one of the most important factors between like a front end engineer and a back end engineer. And of course the front engineer would do a lot more, uh, than just, you know, create stuff with CSS. I just, I was never a front engineer, so I, I cannot talk on this too much, but we know there was this distinguishing factor. Projects typically split between your client, and your backend, your backend can be further, you know, broken down between your rest API, your backend layer and your database. This is all good now. And, and this line also represented the separation, like how not tightly coupled those two systems are. But now, now what has happened, the new, the kind of the new world that we live in with Vercel, this line has been completely blurred. Now it's like the client side is so tightly coupled to your backend. And it's not even, it's not even Vercel, it's Vercel plus, uh, Vercel plus React 18. I want to make that distinction. Okay. It's Vercel plus React 18. This is a world we used to live in where your client and your backend were connected, but not tightly coupled. There was this line and this line, like we said here, separated who was the FE and who was the back end or the work in these sections. So you could be a single engineer and you could work on both, but there were still enough separation between the two concerns, between the two systems, right? This is now the Vercel world and this green blob, I'm dubbing it as the Vercel ecosystem, but the Vercel ecosystem requires React 18 to succeed right now. And how are they doing this? They're doing this with a few tools. So your back end, is now Next.js. Okay, your backend now is Next.js. And with Next.js, it's compl it's closely, you know, you could still have a separation, right? But now it's even closer. However, this was before the world of RSC and server rendering and, and all that stuff, right? It just shows how tightly coupled everything is. Now, in the newest version, the, the, the new world with Vercel, React server components, and you know, all that other stuff, we can remove the back end, and we can even remove, we have this back end in Next.js with all this stuff. We have the client with react and TypeScript, right? You have this very, very blurred line between client and back end. 
Okay, so here you run into this situation now where you can do like this or this because as we saw with the new React and new TypeScript, you can literally write components that query your database directly. It, it is, it's tighter coupling. It's tighter coupling, right? Whenever you are having like server-side rendering or anything like that, you are just coupling your client and backend tighter together. Um, there's no like right amount of tightness, um, but you know, the tighter they are, the lines between what defines your front and back end get blurred. And so the question I have, and the question I want to ask in chat, cause I don't think I have the answer, right? Is how, how do we separate the client, right? Front end from the back end. Wow. You can even see the Versal triangle in the Excalibur. <laughs> oh, it's right there. As someone new, this is very appealing. As someone new coming into program, like a hobbyist program or anything like that, like this makes a lot of sense because you can just, you don't have to, the, the line of separation between front end and back end is now gone essentially with this Vercel ecosystem. Everything's all in one. Everything's all in one. Your React client can now talk to your database the same way it can talk to your back end and your back end can obviously talk to your database. The coupling between them is, is incredibly gone. JS slash TS developers this is amazing for them, amazing for them because you can literally create a, a full stack app with infra, with infra all using, you know, TS, JS. There's no need to, you know, do anything too crazy about that.